Good morning everyone, it's Sunday morning and we got back from Dubai on Friday night um, and we finally need to start resetting the house so the third wash load is on, one of the suitcases is empty and I've now got another suitcase so it's the basic what I did is I filled one side of one suitcase with darts, which I washed two loads of them yesterday and then I've got another one on now because Josh went running so there was loads of sweat stuff that needed washing too. And then I did another suitcase, one side full of like lights slash colours. Um, so yeah, we've got loads of washing to do. The kids got up really early again. So yesterday, Casa was up about half four, which is half eight in Dubai and that was about the average time they were getting up and then this morning Indy woke up at like half four so I got her some milk next thing you know I'm giving Indy some milk because she wouldn't have it on her own to fix mummy's camera because it's broken there look and uh, I heard all this noise and commotion coming from Casper's room I actually just considered someone was breaking in because I'd just turned the house alarm off to come downstairs and get some milk and I went in his room and he'd taken his blackout blind down, he'd pulled his blind up and he was fully dressed. Joggers, t-shirt, jumper and it was 4.58am and he was so happy with himself. <laughs> he was like buzzing that he'd got dressed before he'd even gone into his room and I obviously had to explain to him that it was still the night and um, he didn't take it well, let's just say that. But here we are, not even 7am and we're having breakfast, thank you. Well, Mummy's going to have some, isn't she? Although, <coughs> Mummy's not had her breakfast yet because she's just having a coffee. <coughs> but we need to go to the supermarket today and get some food. We've hardly got anything. We did a little trip to Tesco yesterday, but we literally just got tea, milk, and some fruit, and some toast, basically. Um, right, I'm going to get you out now. But, yeah, we need to do a full food shop because tomorrow when the kids are at nursery I want to get a lot done so I just feel like going to the supermarket is just one thing I don't need to do when we've got no plans for this so yeah that is the day is it all a bit much for you honey yeah is it all a bit much for you is it all a bit much for you darling getting up at 5am Half four. Just been for a walk on the canal and grabbed a takeout coffee. I've been to the supermarket. I was meant to film it, but I forgot, obviously. And we are now just headed. <laughs> to the Mamas and Papas outlet to have a look at getting Casper a new car seat because he is in. This truck he's still in the Joey spin and he's probably getting a bit big for it. And then it is actually still in a baby carry on car seat in here. Um, she's 17 months, so she's still allowed in it, and her head doesn't go over the top, but um, she started climbing out of it. She started getting her arms out, and literally sitting up because she wants to be sat up. So we're going to put her in the spin, rear facing obviously, and then we're going to get Casper a new forward seat. 
um, and hopefully one that will last till it's like 10, 12 or something like that. Um, so yeah, we're just going to have a nip into Mama's and Papa's outlet. And it's still only 7.20am. <laughs> We've done all this before 7.20. It's 20 past 11. <laughs> And we've been to the supermarket, we've had a coffee, we've had a walk, the kids have already had a nap. <laughs> oh, they have. Oh, they have. Walk with my bike now. You want to go on a walk with your bike? Well, we'll go later. We'll go when we get home, darling. We'll go when we get back home. Yeah. Your bike's in the garage. Your bike's not in the car. Truck, car. My helmet Well, you can do. Here I'm just using the vanish spray which helps to get rid of stains and um, obviously I'm doing a whitewash and a lot of the kids clothes were heavily stained with like pens, ice cream, food, watermelon, things like that so I was just spraying all the clothes ready to put the wash on in the morning so that the vanish spray will just soak into the stains. Monday everyone um wow god back to reality the house is an absolute dump it is stressing me out so much but this is obviously just what happens when you get back off holiday I put a wash load in at about six o'clock this morning I've just got back from the gym so I'm gonna empty that now then I need to put another one in and then I'm just gonna have to do a little bit of tidying up because I just cannot cope with this mess. Um, I really, really wanna do an Easter set up tomorrow. So I want the house to be clean because it's literally Easter this weekend. So I want to kind of get going with it. So yeah, I want the house to be pretty clean, but I pick Indy up from nursery in about four hours. Three hours. I've got three hours, so I think. Three hours, so I think. But got three hours till I pick Indy up and I really want to edit my Dubai vlog so I'm just going to spend like the next 40 minutes or so tidying up and just putting stuff away from the holiday um, and just tidying up this kitchen because there's just stuff everywhere and then tomorrow I can hopefully do a bit of an Easter set up for when the kids get home because um, I do have a busy day tomorrow as well I really need to go to I think I've already said this, can't remember God, I can't get into this bin liner. I need to go to Leeds, basically, which is like a 40 minute drive, 30 minute drive, and then obviously I need to be in Leeds, and then I need to drive home. But I might just tie that in with picking the kids up on the way home, actually, so that I'm not like going there, coming home, going to pick the kids up. Why can I not get into this bin liner? Oh, but basically, house reset, I need to do so much more washing. I've got loads to put on vintage that like we took on holiday that doesn't really fit Casper anymore or stuff that I bought for Indy last year for that holiday and it didn't fit her because she's now too big for it and um, I'm actually gobsmacked as to why I cannot get into this thing like what is going on no seriously what is going on why can I not get into it I'm gonna have to throw it oh there we go there we go Good enough for that 
Yeah, I honestly just feel like I'm in that mood as well to throw loads of stuff away. I'm in the mood to throw stuff out of the playroom away. I'm in the mood to throw loads of, well, obviously not throw them away, but like give them away. I'm in the mood to get rid of loads of clothes. Um, I'm just in one of them moods where I just want to literally empty the house and just get rid of everything. I even want to get rid of the air fryer. I'm sick of the sight of it, but obviously I'm not getting rid of it because it's fantastic. It's a fantastic piece of equipment. It's just really ugly, unfortunately. Isn't it washing? Right, this is a white wash, so let's see how much of the kids' stuff is still stained after all the food they were eating on holiday. Indy is obsessed with watermelon at the minute. She was obsessed with watermelon on holiday, which we didn't actually mind because she wasn't drinking that much. You can't even see my head. She wasn't drinking that much, so the watermelon was obviously keeping her nice and hydrated. Um, that's good. Casper drew all over this t-shirt in a restaurant. Someone gave him a felt tip pen and luckily it's all come out and it's because it's brand new and it's 45 years so it should fit in for a long time. Yeah, India's obsessed with watermelon and unfortunately it actually does stain clothes um, and she was eating a lot of it on holiday. So I've got a feeling that a lot of India's clothes are going to still be quite stained because the pyjamas are. Yeah, that's still got a few watermelon stains on it. Oh, is that? What did this have on it? I think it had chocolate ice cream on it. Oh yeah, it's still got chocolate ice cream on it. <laughs> Who knew chocolate ice cream would stain so much? Right, that is the whites out. Now I need to just get some stuff out of the suitcase and get it in the washing machine. I'm hoping this is one of the last holiday loads that I have to do. And then, washing our stuff that we've already got now in the uh, wash baskets because our wash baskets are full obviously why would they not be we've been on holiday and every wash basket is full and what else is full um our bedding needs washing and and honestly this is really bad i'm not even stripping the bedding because i can't bear to it to be on the floor because I don't have time to wash it yet. Um, I'm considering taking it to a laundrette, but then I just think I don't really need to do that. Right, the suitcase is empty. Thank the Lord. Oh, gosh. This stuff, by the way, Tallow and Ash. It's a, like, non-bio, planet-friendly company made in the UK, clean chemistry. This is the duvet de scent. It smells unreal. The only thing I'd say is, that the shampoo like the laundry shampoo lasts a lot longer than the conditioner i don't know why i obviously just use more conditioner than shampoo well there's more in here i'm not really sure so i'm having to use fairy fabric conditioner right enough of the waffling on let's get this wash load out and then i'm just gonna start tying up a little bit right i'm just gonna quickly shove some stuff on vintage because the pile of stuff is just really annoying me and then, because I've just got like a few of the kids bits. And then I am going to quickly tidy the kitchen because I'm just going to sit here and edit my video rather than go to the office. Um, I think I've said that. My brain literally feels like mush right now. And then, yeah, it'll be time for me to go and pick Indy up probably. But I just need a clear space to work. But getting this stuff from Vinted is going to massively help. Um... You know, you've just got so much to do. Like, I need to clean out our shit drawer. I need to sort, like, the pantry cupboards out, the kids' snack cupboards, because I just feel like it's got really messy. The cupboard in there, I'm not even opening the door. It is horrific. That needs sorting out as well. Um, I really need to get Josh, like, he really needs to start sorting his shoes out because it's stressing me out because he's just got so many pairs of trainers. There's literally, like, 20 pairs of trainers downstairs because he buys a new pair of running shoes like every three to four months and he doesn't throw the old ones away, he just keeps them so they just accumulate and there is just running trainers everywhere that he doesn't even wear anymore. Like why are men like this? And then he just tells me he doesn't have time to sort it out, honestly. I'm 
morning guys it is now tuesday and i'm just about to finish cleaning this kitchen get the easter stuff out and put away a massive pile of clothes i cannot even tell you how full the wash basket is it's disgraceful um but i got the easter stuff out before i went on holiday because it was in the attic so i got it out when i got the suitcases out i don't have that much i've just got this little bunny a bit of grass some eggs and i bought this the other day in where did i buy it from uh poundland it's just like a little bunny with a little thing so i'm just going to put a piece of the eucalyptus in there and then I've just got this bunny chopping board because we always have a chopping board and a candle on the oven. So I'm just going to replace that with this for Easter. Um, I am going to do a little Easter party for my friends' kids on Friday. Um, probably moan again that the house is a mess, but it is what it is. Do you know, like I just feel like I need to just get rid of some of this stuff. And then if the house is a little bit messy on Friday, I won't care because it'll just be a mess that I can quickly do. But I just got so much washing. I just feel so stressed about it. I'm actually, we have a laundrette up the road. And, and when I say up the road, I mean like a one minute drive. And I'm considering just ringing and asking if I can drop off one wash basket and, which is Casper's, because he's literally got nothing to wear, and some bedding. Um, because I've just got so much washing to do. And the washing is, the bedding is not a priority. But yeah, this is from the rain. So I'm just going to pop this here. Get rid of this one. Put a little bunny on now. Cute. Put a candle on there. Oh no, that looks weird. I'm not going to do that, I don't think. I might just leave the chopping board. Um, I don't know. I'm going to put another candle on it. I'm going to find a different one. And then in the middle here, I'm just going to do a little display. I'm going to put the grass over there. I might even use the grass. I just have it. Because I did a campaign with Tesco once for Easter. I think it was about two years ago. And I just bought that grass for like my reel. And I've kept it. Let's put that there. Let's get rid of all this stuff. Right. I might, no, I'm, in fact, I'm not going to put anything by the fireplace. Because Inde will literally just destroy it so i'm just gonna put this little bunny here and then maybe pop a few eggs on there as well so not as cute as i thought maybe but i just don't want in day to destroy anything so <laughs> that is gonna be my little easter thing there and then i'm gonna put this bunny i just need to cut the thing i'm gonna put this little bunny up here and i'm just gonna take some eucalyptus off before i grab that's not gonna work it's literally not going in <laughs> I'm just going to leave it like that and then I'm going to buy some tulips or some daffodils. You're not allowed to steal, are you? You're not allowed to cut flowers. So I won't do that. But yeah, just thought it'll, don't know, excite the kids a little bit having a little Easter set up. And like I say, I'm going to have a little Easter party. So I need to get mm. some stuff for that. Maybe tomorrow... I have got both the kids, but I could literally just go to like home bargains or something. Um, but yeah, trying to reset the house. I've got loads of vintage parcels to take today as well. I ended up managing to sell quite a few bits yesterday, which is good. And in fact, I'm going to put the grass on the fireplace, but I'm not going to put anything different on the fireplace to what I would usually have on there. So hopefully she doesn't pick anything off. I'm going to put a different candle from the fireplace by on the bunny thing there. I've got this candle from, I don't know, my mum bought me it for Christmas. I'm just going to put that there like that. And that can go in the bin. And I've got all the washing to put away. And then hopefully the house will feel a little bit reset. Fingers crossed. I thought I had more Easter stuff than that, but I really don't. It'll do. It's good enough for 
the kids, I'm sure. I'm sure Casper will be excited when he gets home. I'm not doing any kind of like bunny crates, not bunny crates, Easter crates or anything like that. I know a lot of people do Easter crates, but oh, like I'm not here to say that it's not like don't do it. And but I just there's just so much like Halloween crates, Christmas. Christmas December crates, Christmas Eve crates, Christmas Day, Easter, like it's just never ending isn't it? World Book Day, like I saw World Book Day crates and I just think as a child I was just so excited just to get Easter eggs. So I'm just going to buy them two Easter eggs each, I'm going to buy them like, I'm going to get Casper a, a Paw Patrol one that comes with like you know when you get like a toy or a mug or something in it. I'm going to get him one of them. And then I'm going to get Indy like a Peppa Pig or something. Yeah, that grass looks really bad. I don't think it's staying. <laughs> oh, what am I thinking? What is going on? In fact, I think last time that is what I did. I tucked it under there last Easter like that. And then I put a candle on it like that. And I, I did put something else on it as well but Indy wasn't crawling so but yeah I'm not doing any like Easter crates or anything like that I will literally just do um an Easter egg each maybe two Easter eggs each my mum's bought them a Tony each I've got Indy to I've um asked her to get into the Peter Rabbit one so it kind of just blend in with Easter and then I think she's got Casper another Paw Patrol one because we don't allow Casper to watch Paw Patrol because he is very sensitive to the TV and Paw Patrol is just one thing that sends him mental. So he gets his Paw Patrol fix from his Tonys and his toys. Don't get me wrong, every now and again I will allow him to watch like the movie. He watched the movie, the mighty Paw Patrol movie on the plane. Um, and he did actually sit and watch the whole thing which when you are on a seven hour plane journey that is like really, well it's just what you want because it's three out two hours that they're quiet, but he was pretty mental after he watched it. Um, so yeah, right. I'm gonna stop waffling on, and I am going to clear the washing that's upstairs, and then I'm gonna go to the office and edit this video. <laughs> when I say sort the house out of me after the holidays, I really wanted to like do loads. I really wanted to clear my wardrobe out, but I think I'm gonna do turn that into another video because. I feel like it's a lot of work. Um, let me just publish this video. This Dubai family video. In fact, what I'm gonna do, I want to watch my Dubai video. So I'm going to bring the washing downstairs and edit it uh, and put it in piles down here. So, oh my God, oh my God. So when you upload a video to YouTube, guys, you obviously, when you are over a thousand subscribers you get monetized which means that you will get paid to have your video on depending on how many adverts you've got and youtube sometimes automatically does it for you and i've just clicked on it now they had one two three four five six seven eight nine adverts in a 30 minute video like who wants that many adverts that is one way of getting rid of my channel because who is going to sit and watch all them adverts absolutely no one i've just got rid of five and i've now got four adverts in it because that is a lot of adverts wow um but yeah this video is going to go live now which i'm excited about um can't wait to watch it i love watching my videos back and especially holiday videos like you just cannot beat it right but yeah i'm gonna crack on now i really need a wee as well i need a wee i need to finish my coffee i'm gonna bring the washing downstairs and i'm gonna watch this video on youtube so as you try do you know i'm looking and i can't help but smile do you know how much i love you you put my favorite song on i put my feet up and we just sing along Right guys, I have wrung the laundrette and this is one thing I've never done in my life. I am just having to do it because I've just got so much washing to put away and so much washing to clean. 
and I cannot deal with it anymore. My brain is like mush. I'm stressed. I was really stressed with the kids this morning and it was awful. Um, this isn't fully dry yet. So I've got all this. I've got some in the kitchen. And then the suitcase are empty now, luckily. This is Casper's wash basket. It is literally full to the brim. So this is what I'm going to take with me to the laundrette. And then I'm just going to strip. In fact, no. Do you know what? I'm just going to strip the bedding. Because I'm going to take Casper's bedding in his bedding and our bedding. And I feel like I could probably get through the wash baskets myself. I might take our wash basket, actually, because... Um... I'm not as desperate for that to come back, so that's what I'm going to say to her. I'm just going to say, because she said that they are shut over the weekend, so they're really in a rush. But I'm just going to say, look, take the bed in, take our wash baskets, because we've got a lot more clothes than the kids. So we obviously aren't as desperate for the wash baskets back as the kids' wash baskets. Um, so yeah, I'm going to strip this bed now. I'm going to strip our bed. Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here? If I could stop the time, don't you know that I would? Cause I'm just loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? Forever. 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 I watch you as you sleep. You don't know. Looking with you, everything's complete. Do you know how much I love you? I put your favorite song on just to wake you up. When I dance around, I can't help but feeling I'm just loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. Right, guys, that is a laundry dropped off. It's cost me £28, which it is a lot of money, but I can't tell you how stressed I am about the washing. I know it's literally first world problems. And it is first world problems. And do you know what? You might be sitting here thinking, oh, it's all right for you paying £28 to have your laundry done, but I've literally got no money. Um, I think I've got £30 in my bank, so I've now got £2 left. But I would rather have £2 left than be as stressed as I am about all the washing that I've got to do. Um, so I'm now heading to the office to get some work done. I've got loads of invoices to send and I've also got um, some emails to reply to. And I'm doing another 28 day challenge on like over Instagram next week. So I've got people to sign up for that. And then I'm also editing this video. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Bit of an upside down vlog. Just just trying to get ready again like reset our lives after a holiday because i do just find that is one of the most stressful things about coming back off holiday is just like resetting your life as such and i'm heading to lee's this afternoon to take some stuff back i was going to film that but i'm not going to now because i don't really have time to edit this vlog josh is flying to belfast at 5 a.m tomorrow morning so I've got the kids all day tomorrow and then I'm actually working at Acorn and Pip, the shoe shop on Thursday, which I've not done a Thursday in months and months. So I don't, I usually would edit videos on a Thursday, but I'm obviously not going to be doing that. And then I've got the kids all day Friday, so I don't really have time to sit and edit this video. So I'm going to do it today because I don't really need head to leads for another three hours. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching guys. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button and hopefully my next vlog will be a bit more positive than this one and I'll see you soon.